Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. I'm Rob with True American Roofing Company and I'll be your host. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing a general maintenance service of an asphalt shingle roof. If you have an older roof, you probably need some general maintenance service to get you through the next rainstorm coming up. And in this case, we're supposed to be having an El Nino year. So these guys really wanna get this buttoned up, everything sealed, all the nails pounded down pipe flashing sealed, valleys cleared, trash cleared off the roof, seal the chimney, seal the skylights, and just check everything and make sure it's in a workable function. So we're gonna take a look at some of the things that we need to do. Okay, the next part of the general maintenance is we're gonna need to pound down the nails and then seal them. You can see, got nails in various areas around the roof. And this one's right underneath the video camera. See it? It's got even... Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so when you want to start picking up all the debris off the roof, Probably make sure you got some gloves. Just keep your hands clean and protect yourself from when you go to scrape the gutter or something that you're not gonna cut yourself on a piece of sharp metal or you're not gonna score your skin on the uh, granulated asphalt rooftop surface because it is rough and it gets hot. So you don't wanna burn yourself either. So make sure you got your gloves. So we're just gonna start getting this all picked up. This is where a leak is over here in the corner. So we wanna get it swept up so we know what the spot for and we could probably find the leak over this flat roof. So let's take a peek and see how we're gonna do this. So just to help me scrape things up, some people got a shovel. I got my little tin shingle. This is gonna work really good. It flows perfectly across the surface of the granulated roofing material and makes it easy for me to scoop stuff up. So that's what we wanna do. So let's get this all scooped up, get it swept up, and let's find the leak. <laughs> We got that area all cleaned up. Now we want to get this debris over the rest of the roofing. Welcome back to that roof. Okay, so once again, we want to pick up the majority of the debris and trash of the tree leaves and branches on, and then we're going to sweep off the remainder. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Let's get a closer look and see what we got cleaned up. We got this section all swept up and now we're getting ready to do start a repair. Right here is where it leaks and we can see why. So let's get this sealed up and we get one of these areas fixed on the repair. Get this roof tidied up. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so now that we got this area all cleaned up, let's take a closer look and see where the leak is coming in from. It's coming in right from this cord. And as you can see, seal is broken, big gaping hole, has no choice but the leak. But we're gonna get that all sealed up right now. Welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so we're getting ready to seal this cable coming into the flat roof. And there's a few things you're gonna need to make this little repair go well. So first of all, you need a pair of gloves. That black mastic, sabotage. When it gets on you, it's gonna spread everywhere on your clothing, on your body, you're not gonna like it. So try to be as clean as possible, mitigate your losses with the mastic and you're gonna do well. So you just gotta be a little bit smarter than the mastic. So that's what we're trying to do. So we got our gloves. We got a mastic trowel, or a concrete uh, contractor would call this a gauging trowel. You get these for about $7 at Home Depot. Then we got our bucket of Henry's, our bucket of mastic. You probably know it by Henry's 204, but this is a new uh, rubber base mastic and it doesn't break down like that Henry's does. Okay, so let's get a seal on this hole over here. So we wanna take some mastic from the bucket Squish it out, get it, seal the hole up, and let's do it. Okay, so let's do it. So we wanna get a healthy portion 
of this mastic on the gauging trowel and just spread it around the hole just like you're putting frosting on a cake. Okay, so we got that seal pretty easy fix. We got our mastic, gauging trowel and gloves, got that hole all sealed up. So let's move on to the next task. We gotta start pounding down the nails around the roof and getting them sealed up with this mastic too as well. So we'll catch up to you in a bit when we get set up. Hey, welcome back to that Roof. Okay, so once again, we wanna go around the roof and nail down the nail heads of the nails that are poking up through the asphalt shingle because that's gonna cause a leak for sure. So that's one of the first things that you wanna check when you're doing a general maintenance service on an asphalt shingle roof. Look. Okay, now that we got that nail all nailed down, now we wanna come back with some mastic and seal it. Now you always wanna seal the nail hole as you go because if you go around the roof and pound down the nails first, you might not find that nail again. You, you might not. So when you pound it down, come back and seal it right afterwards and then you know that you're gonna get that all sealed up and it's gonna work out nice. Okay, so let's see how we do it. We wanna take the mastic trowel, the gauging trowel and the mastic and once again, shellac it over the nail head and get that covered up. Let's get a closer look and see how it's gonna look. Okay, so that was pretty easy. We just took our mastic, came over here, got that all spread out. Got another nail right here. All sealed up. Now we wanna go around the rest of the roof perimeter and get the rest of those pesky nail holes sealed up. And we're gonna move on to the next task of doing this general maintenance service on this asphalt shingle roof. We'll catch up to you in a bit. So I hope you're enjoying this little how-to video of how to do a general maintenance service over your roof. Once again, got another little nail. Wanna get that pound down. But now that we got all that done, I think that's the last one. Wanna get this sealed up. Now we want to start sealing the broken tabs over here that are missing. So we just want to take some master, cover that nail hole, get that sealed up, and that's working pretty nice. Now, in this case, we're going to be replacing this roof in a few months. The homeowner asked us if we could just go through and do a general maintenance service to get them through for a couple more months, and we're slammed right now would work anyway. So this is gonna work out perfect for us. So we just wanna keep continuing going around, sealing where the broken tabs are or where they're missing or crack. We wanna get that sealed up, then we know it's not gonna leak. So let's get a closer look at another area. Okay, so we're starting to get the different things uh, checked off during our general maintenance service. We got the flat roof all patched up where the cable went through the deck, got the roof all cleaned off, got all the nail holes, pound it down and sealed. Now we're going around sealing all the tabs. So one by one, we're checking off all the things that we need to do. Next thing we need to do is go around and check to make sure all the counter flashing is sealed down and all the pipe and vent flashings. And we'll catch up to you in a bit when we get closer to doing that part of the maintenance work. Hey, welcome back. Now that we got the majority of the general maintenance service done, we still have a couple more items to do. We still gotta seal the chimney and the skylights, but we have to seal the counter flashing and the pipe and vent flashings around the perimeter. Now, as you can see, with this flashing right here, the nails are popping up. So we want to come back with our hammer. Now we got this counter flashing right here. We want to get this all pinned down. So once again, we want to take our hammer. We want to take some nails. We got a 7D galvanized. And we're just putting the nail right back in the same nail hole of the counter flashing. Got that all sealed up. 
think this job's a wrap. Got everything all taken care of on this. We'll catch up to you in a bit. We're getting ready to close. Okay, let's go over what we've done. We've, okay, let's go over what we've done. We've sealed the nail holes, sealed the flat roof, clean the trash off, seal the pipe and vent flashings, and seal the tabs in the field. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. I hope you enjoyed this episode of how to service your asphalt shingle roof. It's pretty simple. You got a few checkpoints. First, you wanna clear all the debris off your roof. Then you can see if you have any damage. Then you wanna pound down all the nail holes. You wanna seal any tabs that are ripped or broken or cracked. You wanna seal your pipe and vent flashings, seal your chimneys, and seal the skylight. And after you do that, I think you did a pretty good job. Servicing, tuning up your roof is just like tuning up your car. You need to service it, keep it up, so it's up to par and you know that it's running tight. Just like a car, you gotta put gas, oil, and water and pump up those tires to keep that car running sound. Same deal with the roof. You wanna clear off all the trash, pound down the nails, seal them, seal all the broken tabs, seal the chimneys and the skylights or any other rooftop penetrations coming through the roof. And then you know that you're gonna have a pretty tight roof that will get you through a certain amount of time. In this case, we're hoping this is gonna get us through for about two or three months when we're able to come back and completely redo this roof. So look for us on our next upcoming episodes of Cover That Roof. Hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in a bit. We'll see you next time on Cover That Roof.